Hi, I'm Shane from PDQ.com. Let's build a package that deploys an MSI file. So obviously a lot of different applications come with uh, set up EXE files uh, or MSIs or others. Today we're going to cover the MSI portion. Uh, first of all, obviously you have to grab the, uh, the installation files, in this case MSI files, from the vendor. I'm going to go to our repository directory. It's not a requirement that you place your installations in the repository, but I'm just going to do that. You can see we're, we'll do paint.net. And in paint.net, we have two MSIs, one for 32-bit targets and one for 64-bit. <coughs> Pardon me. So we're going to go ahead and build a package using uh, these installation files. Click on New Package. Give it a name. We'll do paint.net. And then we have to specify the steps to run. We're going to use an install step. When you run MSIs, it's almost always going to be from an install step. And we'll, we'll do the 32-bit version here. We'll call this step paint.net 32-bit. And uh, specify our install file. There's a, you'll have to navigate to it, but you can see I'm already there. I'm going to choose the x86, which is the 32-bit file. Now, you notice once we choose an MSI file in the install file field, if it's an MSI, we already know how to make that run silently. That is so important when you are ever doing uh, software deployment. You need to make something run quietly so that user interaction is not needed or expected. Um, when we see an MSI file, you can see the MSI options here that is uh, en enabled. You can actually modify it where we say, yeah, by default, we say don't restart, make it run quietly. And uh, you can un you can take this off. Like if I don't want this to run quietly, you can see that there's um, the slash QN gets gets taken gets taken out. So we automatically know how to make that run silently if it's an MSI. If it were an EXE, you would need to find the uh, silent parameters for that. Now, when you're dealing with the MSIs, uh, what goes in the parameters field? Uh, it's not always a requirement, but sometimes if there's some fine tuning you need to do to that to this particular installation, you would want to uh, add that add that here. Parameters in MSI really come down to what are known as properties, and that varies by application. So for Paint.net, there is a property called Check for Updates, and we're going to set that to false. So Check for Updates equals zero. Uh, in order to find out what the properties available properties are that you can modify. Either go to the vendor site or uh, grab an MSI editor like Orca. It's a free download from Microsoft and uh, install Orca, open up that, edit that uh, MSI file and go to the properties table. And generally those, those uh, uh, properties in that table, the values in that table will tell you what can be modified. Maybe there's a, des a desktop shortcut and you want to set that to false because you don't want the desktop shortcut. So in this case, we're turning off check for updates via a property. And then since this is the 32-bit, we'll go over to our OS architecture conditions and say only run on 32-bit. And obviously, if there's any other OS um, conditions, like we don't want this on servers, XP or Vista, there, this will only, uh, this step will only run on 32-bit machines that are running seven or higher. Now I'm going to, we need to create a 64-bit step. I'm just going to right click on this because I've already got a bunch of things set up. I'm just going to duplicate. And we'll just change the name of this second step to 64-bit. We will change the uh, install file, obviously. And uh, the parameters the same, that, that property. In the conditions, we will change this to just 64-bit only with the same OSs. And that's really how simple it is. You can, um, we can now deploy paint.net. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, this include entire directory. If the file, if the application that you're installing as an MSI for the install file, and then a bunch of other files in that directory that are needed during the installation, you're going to want to click include entire directory. If there's only one file that you need uh, or two files, you don't have to include the entire directory. You can just you know, uh, click the additional files and specify those files that you want. It's just very important if there are additional files needed, uh, your deployment will fail if those are not present on the target during the installation. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions, by all means, hit up our support site. All right, I'm Shane from PDQ.com.